What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Wanted to go wide screen on this or wide angle for you because I want to unbox this. I'm pretty excited about this. This is a Comica uh, Lavalier wireless microphone. CVM WM100. So I wanted to show this to you and unbox it here, and then we will go ahead and test it out. As you know, I've used uh, these Pile wireless lavalier microphones, and when you're on a budget, trying to be cheap, uh, you know, they, they work. And for me in the past, they've actually worked pretty well in some cases, but then in other cases, you know, like the cord came out or the battery was dying or I didn't have the volume turned up quite right. And, you know, you kind of get what you pay for and they're, they're just not that high quality. The, 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 the sound quality is okay, but then on top of that, the kind of the thing that really pushed me over the edges, like sometimes when there's something's just a little bit out of alignment or loose or whatever, um, I wasn't getting any audio recording and it wasn't a problem physically fundamentally with the the lavalier mics it was just that you know they're just not that high end and so they're hard to test and they're hard to kind of count on for being reliable so i picked this up this is a higher end set of, of mics you know let's call it five times the cost of the piles but from what i can tell these are going to be at a whole different level so i can tell you right now out of the box i can tell you that uh <laughs> You know the presentation is nowhere near the same right first of all you get this nice cordura uh, or nylon like case you have a velcro handle a really cool carrying case um, everything on the case even feels pretty high high end then on the front it looks like we have a QR code which probably works for finding more information or going to the website you have two pockets this is Comica right up here and then on the front pocket we have user guide which will be useful and we have a bunch of plugs and adapters i just love this case because now i can actually carry this around like my pile mics just sit on a shelf we have a little um a little fuzzy extra windscreen there we have a wireless microphone itself with the uh i don't know what you call it the little fuzzy foam thing on the top and then a clip nice strong clip and then you have the uh what do you call it, the kind of the ring clip there. And then our nice long cable. And then um, this looks like it unscrews, I think. Yeah, this is just, oh, it looks like it's just threaded so that you can kind of tighten it down to something, which is really super nice. Kind of looks like brass-like hardware, but a three and a half millimeter um, uh, jack on this end. But this is cool. This is totally a step above where you can tighten this down, nice knurling on it, so that you don't have to worry about this plug coming out, which is kind of one of the things that I was talking about that's uh, bugged me in the past when those those plugs come out. Even you at a, at a glance, you wouldn't even notice it, but when they come out, they obviously stop working. We have a couple of, um, they call them like bases here to attach to like uh, tripods. We have... Uh, Another three and a half millimeter cable, both ends, with uh, one end with a tightening collar on it. We have uh, the uh, microphone cable here with a three and a half millimeter jack and another collar. As you can see there. And then on this, we have a couple of clips, which I think are kind of the back clips for fitting on the back here so you could hook it onto your belt or something lack of that well let's open up this uh kind of the main compartment where i think we're going to find the business itself and look at that two of the uh lavalier wireless microphones right there in all their glory man um just the presentation on this thing is rocks dude i mean i guess it's just nice seeing someone who takes pride and doesn't cut corners and doesn't go totally bargain basement and gives you uh, a nice foam cutout here, which seems almost um, assassin sniperish. Yeah, sniperish. So here's where I think you could use these to lock in the back. I'm assuming the clip even looks like it fits in these the sides here. So you could oh, and then there's a little hole that takes a little end there, so you could. I think you just put that in there like this. Assuming, I hope I don't break this. I wish I were kind of an audio file, but what you're skidding is just true, honest to God, novice user uh, experience. The true live unboxing. I'm just hoping these things work better. And I don't think I'll be disappointed. And now you've got a little clip, which is what I really want. That's pretty nice, nice and stiff there. Put it on your pocket or your belt. You have a 
LCD here, a couple of buttons, probably for either frequency or volume, and then setting it. Little LED light right there, I believe. And then um, you have a pretty substantial flexible micro or antenna there, line in, microphone, and then looks like power and mute right there. And then here, it looks like this is where the batteries go in. So it looks like it takes two AA batteries. Then here is the other one. So even though they look almost exactly the same, one is going to your recording device, output, and then one you will wear uh, with you when you're recording. So the microphone will go in here, I think. So that's pretty cool. Um, I also like the fact that this has a headphone jack right there, and that's great for someone who is filming. They will hear your audio and be able to tell you if there is a problem with the audio. Um, you know, they're going to hear it live, which is really, really cool. So I, I kind of dig that as well. Use so. this collar to not only make sure that it's in there, but it stays in there by screwing that down and tightening it in. Pretty awesome. And this might seem a little mundane, but I do want to show you that putting these in, they can only go in one way. But one of the cool things I like about this, too, is that they both just take AA batteries. Um, and one of the advantages over the pile is that one of them takes AA, one AA battery, and the other takes like a 9-volt battery. Who has 9-volt batteries? I never have them. So it's just kind of nice that both run on AA's because everyone has them and they're easy to get. You know, 9 volts are, are so rare, you know, to be honest these days. So I have both of these now wired up. I went ahead and, uh, like I said, put in the, the lavalier microphone. I think you can use either of these inputs, to be honest, line in or mic. I think that's kind of up to you. You know, if I were going to use this uh, to an actual physical mic, like an old school mic, I'd probably use it in the mic jack there. But I think either one works. And then the output here, again, screwed it in here. Uh, you can put it in the earbuds or something like that. So someone who's working the camera can listen to it. But then this will just go in. In my case, it's going to go into the iPhone because that's what I want to use it for. Now, let's go ahead and just power these on and take a quick look at them. So I've... I've got the power, which is marked mute here. And uh, let's see, hold it down here. There we go. Power's up. Backlit, which is pretty nice. And as you can see, um, it's locked, and we're on channel 00, 0520 megahertz, right? Uh, battery indicator. And then also, what I like here is that it looks like you have like this little audio indicator, this little equalizer bar. So um, here's the microphone. And I just want to see if it's working. Test! Test. Now I'm going to hold it up to my mouth and do a little test. 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 Which is pretty awesome. So you also know um, that the thing is picking up sound and working properly, which is a kind of a, a huge, huge thing. Uh, green light LED right there. Okay, so I think I figured out some more stuff. So if you hear, if you hold the set button, you can see this little lock icon is on, and so you can't. This doesn't. These buttons don't do anything. If you hold down the set button here for a couple seconds, it goes to unlock, and now we actually can change some things. So one thing that we can change, I noticed, is that now this mute button actually becomes a mute button. If I just tap it here, while it's oh, it already locked. So it doesn't stay unlocked forever. Let's just unlock it again. If I hit the mute button here. I, the, the microphone icon goes uh, crossed out. The uh, indicator here is red. I think we're on mute. So I'm just going to hold down the set button here and go off mute. And this can be great, you know, if you have multiples of these, you know, I think like in a church or a performance or um, an outdoor concert or something like that, there are times when uh, the speaker or the host or the MC is going to come on and then they're going to want to be on mute for the rest of the time. So that's going to be how you're doing it. Now, if I hold down the set button, this also, if I tap it again now, we kind of go through the modes here. So I can change the channel, I can change the RF, uh, LCF, and um, and then if I don't do anything, then you can use the arrow buttons to kind of adjust that. But if I hold down the set button here, I think we go back to lock. So that's kind of a quick walkthrough of the features, but I'm just going to leave it on 0, 0, 520 megahertz for my test. And let's go ahead and get this all plugged up and try that. All right, guys, so I have my rig uh, set up here with my... Uh, iPhone and one of the cool things is you don't need that flanger adapter anymore It just plugs into the uh, headphone jack adapter and appears to work But one of the things I wanted to point out here uh, is that once you have everything powered on uh, Both of the LCDs actually show kind of volume um, Or sound acquisition So if I'm very quiet, you'll see all the bars go away 
And then if I talk really loud, you see them both light up. So it just kind of shows that it's working. So even if you don't have a separate set of headphones plugged in or a second person videotaping you, like I don't, because I shoot a lot of stuff by myself, you know that it's working and that both are synced up and powered on and receiving signals. So that's pretty awesome. I really like that. Now let's see if this thing works under uh, different ranges. All right, guys, so I'm out here. I have the wireless lavalier microphone just clipped to my uh, button right here, and I've got it here just holding in my hand. Nice uh, flexible little antenna makes this really comfortable. One, I can slip it in my pocket just like this. I can clip it to my belt uh, loop. I can clip it to my pocket. It really depends on how hidden you want it. I just want to show it here. Normally, I think you would run the wire underneath the shirt and then hide the uh, microphone pack or the transmitter on your back or something like that. And I'm just going to put it in my pocket here. I'm only about 10 feet away from the camera and I've adjusted the volume down actually. So it comes set at 15 and I've adjusted it down to 10 for this demonstration and I wanted to do it outside here in particular because it's a little bit of a breezy day so I'm getting a little bit of a crosswind. You might even hear the air, uh, the wind blowing by here. There's also um, <laughs> a lawn mowing crew just uh, at the next house. So there should be pretty good, and then there's a road here, uh, pretty good ambient sound around here. And I just wanted to see how well it worked and kind of blocking that out and really focusing only on a talking head like me. So the thing that I also wanted to mention about this is that it advertises just tremendous amount of range. So as I back up here and I get to about 25 feet and 30 feet away from the uh, camera, I just wanted to kind of continue to talk here and let you see that hopefully this thing is just continuing to transmit. So what I wanted to demonstrate here is how well this sucker tr transmits and regardless of how far or close you are, you know, the audio is just like being right up there. So this is really helpful, especially if you're going to do demonstrations. You know, I wish I had it for like the tents and things like that so that when I was doing those demonstrations, I could have had better audio, um, more like you know, high-end audio equipment so that you could continue to hear me as if I had great microphone setups all over. And, and it wouldn't really matter if I was talking into the camera or away from the camera or with my back turned or I was walking around or how far I was. So this is just one of those things where I think this is going to add a whole new dimension to being able to record audio, create a better video uh, experience, watching experience particularly for for you, you folks, but especially if you are running a play or doing shows or whatever it might be, you know, I think these are great because of the long range and the audio quality. You could have these on and have audio set up at the back of a theater and so you don't have to worry about the range. And if you're do shooting videos, whether it's for, you know, fun or YouTube, or if it's for, you know, family outings where you just want to catch the audio of a specific person, uh, but you're going to have a wide shot or not necessarily uh, be able to kind of focus in on them with the, whatever camera or video setup you're using. I think these are absolutely great. Not only are they great, but, you know, with all of my standard equipment, including that Flanger adapter, I was able to get this working right away with my iPhone. So if you're using something else, it might just plug into that three and a half millimeter input jack. If you have a microphone in, I think that's going to work. But man, these are just tremendous. I love the fact that they are uh, professional grade, that they work. The, the LCD displays on them are super useful. They use AA batteries. Yeah, they're not the cheapest thing at about 150 bucks. You're going to have to step up a little bit over the, the smaller wireless ones. But for the problems that I've had with those and, and the, the audio quality that I was getting out of them, I have no doubts that this is going to be a good investment for all of you and for me and everyone here at the Panda Research Institute. So I'll put a link to these uh, Comica transmitters, the wireless lavalier microphone set in the description. If you want to pick it up, uh, do so. I think you'll be really impressed with it. But these little guys are going to be used uh, for a lot of upcoming videos as well as uh, coming with me on the road so that I can shoot my own home videos and really be able to kind of record the audio specifically of people that I really, really want. So check it out. Peter Von Panda, out.